Aha, I didn't hit myself this time. How's it going, guys? It's me, Domo, on the Dumb Talk Anime channel. I'm sorry for feeling better, but I am still a sick Domo. So, anyways, welcome back to the Dumb Talk Anime channel, where today we're going to do a first impression of the one anime hype video that I did the Alcana Fourth Rhythm Blue Across the Water complicated title thing. That anime. So, yes, this anime. Uh, oh, gosh, my, my sore throat's coming back. Anyways, this anime I have been expecting for quite some time now, and it's finally aired. I totally forgot that it was airing today, even though I totally counted back four days ago when it was like, okay, it's coming out in four days, remember that, that's a Sunday, and today's that day, and I watched the first episode, and so far, I am surprisingly in love with this anime, I don't know why, I just am, it's just the first episode, and for one, I could say that this anime sort of, I don't know, I think I visually just love it in general, like, this everything about it looked so awesome and great and stuff like that and just wow just like I'm so excited for this anime and it's only the first episode so anyways um this anime Alcon the fourth rhythm is uh really well for one it's a visual novel s story so you guys watch my if my heart had wings uh playthrough or you know like little busters clanet like visual novels like you know they have a pretty high chance of like you know these like vast settings and plot and whatnot so in my heart and wings if you guys watch my playthrough it's pretty cool it has a very cool and just vast plot with its characters and like the story and like the setting and i just love it this anime it features like on a small island like a like a set like a isolated island in the middle of nowhere and they have the people there and like, I already get the visual novel, like, um, feeling from it because I did my research and it's based off a visual novel. And yet, it's not a visual novel, it's an anime. And the anime also does a great job in, like, having those visual novel-esque moments where they're, like, um, where, like, the CG things where, like, you're trying to, like, uh, just do stuff, like events and whatnot, all those things. And it just made me really, like, just... It was almost like I was watching a visual novel, or like, you know, not playing it, but like, I was watching it. Like a movie. And it was pretty cool, that's what anime is. So anyways, with this story, basically, we don't have much of a big story yet. We are introduced to the characters of this story. Mostly the three girls here on this, in this visual, and the main dude, but even though it's really weird, because I don't think, like, the, the only, the lead male in this anime is the main protagonist. Throughout this first episode, we are mostly, like, seen to the eyes of this main girl, Asuka, and I know her name because she's just hilarious as fuck. Anyways, Asuka seems to be, like, um, possibly, or most likely, the main, um, girl or, like, the lead heroine in this show because we see that she has some kind of background, huge background plot thing in the beginning of the show and how she's basically the newcomer in this series setting thing and how she's trying to learn how to fly and stuff like that so and I think that the male dude in this anime is just like a teacher and a tutor but I most likely that he's still the main protagonist but I mean like we're probably gonna learn about it more later this is all the first episode so anyways with um characters aside like characters there we don't know much about them yet I really love our main heroine here Asuka she's just really ridiculously funny like she's like the hyperactive one who tries so hard and like she's like very she's very like what should we call it hyperactive easygoing and like she's just funny i find her really entertaining and i remembered her name because it's super easy and she was just like the main character like the lead star of this first episode because this is about her tra learning to fly so anyways setting aside the characters the setting for the story and like the whole like world behind this anime so apparently like humans have discovered this kind of crystal that's kind of anti-gravity crystal which allows the user to have gain access to flight so flight is really um well known and popular in the setting and the island that this anime takes place in and this school that our characters go to or like just like school mostly in the islands give all their students access to these shoes that have these gravity crystals and allow them to fly to school and fly the back. You have these like places where you're designated to go fly zone and like, are you serious? Like they just 
downright like did a good job at explaining this like how to fly shit and like how like they're able to do this stuff i mean just like it's it makes sense right i mean like like you just like you have to explain like you're gonna put flying in anime you gotta explain this stuff so yeah basically you see them flying all the time in the anime and i think it's really cool i don't know why i just like the way they do the flying and like it just visually like piques my interest or whatever i don't know why but it just does and it's pretty cool and throughout the first episode we sort of learn more about like um the like how these flying anti-gravity shoes i forget what they're called in the anime how they're used in this sport called like the flying circus and basically flying circus is sort of like um a dual competition thing and with flight and like where like they had to like do these things or like tag goals or like soccer or whatever it's like in the mid in the air it's like it's pretty we don't know about it yet i'm pretty sure we don't know about it yet but most likely that game of the flying circus is going to be a key part in this anime because there's like a lot of visuals of like the girls and like they're like competitive wear and then like they're like flying and stuff and then the male role i think or our male lead is basically going to be a tutor for our girls here and he he has some weird background stuff too there's like there's a lot of hints in this anime that point to like oh something happened to this guy is like oh i didn't expect him to do this or you know they like there's like so much stuff happening and there's so much stuff like hinting at like you know first stuff and i can't wait to see these things and like learn more about this world and setting and stuff because I'm really loving it guys. I want to play the visual novel of this game so bad, but unless I can't find no visual novel or to buy it or whatever from Japan. But anyways, that's it for this Adam Furring first impression because my sword throw is going to be acting up and I can sort of feel it right now. Anyways, do you guys like this series? Do you guys tell me what you guys think about the series? Because for one, it's a cool visual novel anime adaption and it's going to be a school life, slice of life, romance-esque kind of thing, so I'm most likely going to could tell what's gonna happen again but so far i'm really liking it guys for the anime winter 2016 we got some good action mystery and we always had to have our slice of life school anime so take care guys i hope you guys aren't as sick as me i hope you guys are well i'll see you guys in the next video on the domotaku anime channel take care guys and matane